Are you interested in launching your career as a video editor, but you're not sure where to begin? In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know to become a successful video editor and make up to 2 lakh rupees per month. I have been a video editor for 4 years now. I have charged people $5 for a video and I have also charged $1,000 for a video. So I have seen it all. If you watch this video till the end, you'll know which software to use, where to find stock clips, where to find no copyright music. I'll also provide you with free online courses, resources and templates. And most importantly, I'll let you know how to land your first client as a video editor. So stick around and this video will tell you everything you need to know about video editing. Videos are everywhere. People nowadays prefer a video over a written article. Think about it. The last time when you wanted to learn something, did you go to Google for a written tutorial or you? YouTube or Instagram for a video tutorial. The demand of video editors is growing and if you get the right skills, you can earn a lot of money. So first, you would need a device to start editing videos. Your mobile or laptop would do. You don't have to buy expensive gear in the beginning. And if you want to edit videos on your mobile or just want to learn video editing for fun, there are great video editing apps like CapCut, VN Editor, Premiere Rush and InShot. These apps are great for beginners. So now if you're using a laptop or a computer to edit, there are three main softwares in the industry. Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. There is also Avid Media Composer which is used to edit feature films but it is not that popular in the e-commerce market. So then coming back to the three softwares, each of them has their pros and cons. If you're just a beginner, I would suggest using DaVinci Resolve because it's completely free. It's very popular for color grading. I personally prefer Adobe Premiere Pro. That's because it's very compatible with other Adobe products like Adobe Audition and Adobe After Effects. If you're a Mac user, Final Cut Pro might be the best choice for you. I have included a video by Michael Tobin in the description which will help you select the right software. Once you select the software, get used to it, know how to import the clips, navigate through the timeline and use different tools. I have added links to free online courses for each of the softwares. Link is in the description. Another question you might have is where do I get clips? So first thing is you can use your mobile phone to record clips and then try editing it. If you need professional clips, then there are stock video websites like Pexels and Pixabay where you can get free clips. I prefer Pexels because if you click on one video, you'll find a collection of similar videos and you can create a sequence out of it. To get copyright free music, you can check out channels like NCS and Vlogs No Copyright Music. And you can use that music on your social media platforms. You just have to give credits to the artist. When you're getting used to the software, don't forget to master the basic cuts and also storytelling techniques. I have included a video which covers 12 of the most basic cuts and transitions that are used in Hollywood. Learn how to hook someone, learn how to create suspense. Don't focus too much on the tool and very little on the story. Video editing is all about telling a good story. You can check out Peter McKinnon's YouTube channel to see how he hooks someone. Identify the type of editing you like. For example, there are a lot of different styles of videos, short form content, documentaries, promos, ads, see what you love the most. Once you get used to the software, move on to advanced skills like animation, color correction, sound design and color grading. Learn how to create a transition like Sam Colder. Learn how to color grade like Adam Robbins. Explore sound design by Nicholas. Learn how to create keyframe animation to make your video more dynamic. To learn 2D and 3D animation, you can check out this YouTube channel called School of Motion. These skills will help you stand out in the market and help you get high ticket clients. Next, I would highly suggest learning Adobe After Effects. It has endless possibilities. You can create animations, motion graphics, keying, tracking, 3D animation, rotoscopy, speed remapping, etc. After Effects is a big and complex software and it takes a lot of time. I have included a free After Effects course in the description. Next, learning AI editing tools and plugins. Consider using AI tools like Runaway, Firefly and Descript. They can help you save a lot of time and they can do all the repetitive work easily. Apart from that, you can use a Premiere Pro plugin called AutoPod that enables automatic editing for video podcasts and show. This is why it is very important to learn the storytelling techniques and also advanced effects so that AI can't replace you. Now that you are familiar with the tools and software that you have to use, we come to the most important step that is to create a portfolio and a showreel. A portfolio is basically a collection of your best works which you show to the client. You don't have to include 10 to 20 videos. 
Just have three to four good videos which showcase your skill. Create a very attractive showreel which shows all the skills that you have as an editor. So the next question is where do you upload these videos? So in the beginning, I used Google Drive and created a folder called Portfolio and shared it with the clients. To look more professional, what you can do is you can create a Behance profile and have your portfolio there or Vimeo. You can also create your personal website to look extremely professional. Now that you have created a portfolio, it's time to sell your services. First thing I would suggest is register yourself on freelance platforms like Fiverr and Upwork. Check out this video to know how to start your freelance journey. Since it will take some time for your freelance profile to get started, in the meantime, let's try to find your first client through cold emails. For that, you need a lead list, which will look something like this. If you want to know how to create a lead list like this for video editing clients, let me know in the comments. Once you have created a lead list, start sending cold emails to hundreds and thousands of people. This is the cold email template that we use to get hundreds of clients and it's available for free in the description. Once you send the email, make sure you follow up after every two days. Also try selling services in your local area first. Maybe your neighbors and friends need these services. Once you have enough clients, ask them if they can work with you on a freelance platform. What this will do is it will tell the platform that you are able to get clients on your own and it will suggest your services to more people. Once you have enough clients, you can start increasing your prices and grow your business. So these were all the steps you need to take to become a successful video editor. All the links and resources are available for download in the description. Also remember, video editing is like problem solving. It will take some time for you to become good at it. Remember to stay updated with the latest trends because the video editing world is evolving by every second. Know what is working in the market and try to sell that. If you want to know how I went from a freelancer to now running my own video editing agency of 8 people, you can check this video out. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more valuable content and I'll see you in the next video.